They say great things come in small packages and the Sonar AQX series is definitely no exception. And today we're going to be checking them out. So let's go. Welcome back to the Gear for Music Drums channels, guys. My name is Theo, and today, as I said, we're going to be checking out the AQX series from Sona, the smallest drums I've ever seen in my whole entire life. And if you enjoy this video, please do not forget to give us a like and subscribe so you can catch more content like this in the future. So as you can see, I have three beautiful drum kits here with me, but unfortunately today we don't have the AQX Bop kit, but we're going to be taking a look at the Jungle kit and the micro kit. And kicking things off, let's have a look at how these kits look on the face of it. You have three absolutely beautiful finishes that come in the AQX series across all three kits, the micro, the jungle, and the bob kit we have here. We have this beautiful black sparkle, a really lovely blue sparkle, and a very fancy, if I do say so myself, red sparkle over there. And all of them are finished with natural wood hoops, which which I absolutely love. If anybody knows me, you know that I love a natural wood hoop on a wrap kit. I think it looks absolutely beautiful. In terms of hardware, we got chrome all over on these kits. We have triple flange hoops with those quintessential Sonologues, which also have the tune safe, which is a really awesome feature that you get across all the Sonic kits. Um, including like the high-end stuff. So like, you know, like the SQ1, SQ2s, they feature the same technology in those drums as well, which is a really great feature to have. We've got some really nice chrome bass drum claws, and then we have this really awesome unit in the middle of the kit, because if you're getting a small kit, you're getting a small kit for a reason, and that's because you don't want to take up too much space. Uh, and what this tom holder allows you to do is have the cymbal stand, you know, inside the tom holder on the bass drum so you're not taking up too much space with an extra stand and that's included in the kit as well in terms of tom holder it's a ball tom holder which means you can you can move the, the tom around and get it into any sort of position you want to um obviously we're, we're thinking about space here with a smaller kit um and that's also really super handy and it's all finished really nicely they've got it's got riser on the bass drum because obviously with your um, bass drum pedal, um, if you were to have this on the floor, it would be in a really awkward angle um, because the bass drum isn't high enough. So we've stick that on a riser, which means we can still get all the leverage that we need from our bass drum, bass drum pedal landing right in the middle of that drum head. So the shells on all the AQX kits are nine ply poplar shells with 45 degree bearing edges, which means they have a super modern sound, very precise with lots of attack and you get a really clear tone from every single one of the drums on these kits. Moving on to the micro kit, let's take a closer look at this little pocket rocket of a drum kit here. Um, in terms of sizes, we have a 14 by 13 bass drum, which actually today is I might have played one a while ago, I can't remember, but I think this is probably one of the smallest bass drums, the smallest bass drum that I've ever played um, today. Um, we have an 8x7 rack tom, which is nice and pingy and, and sounds really nice. And then finally we have 13x12 floor tom, which to be honest is surprisingly low sounding. When you get it underneath the mics and you tune it correctly, you get a really nice depth of sound from this drum, which is really great. Let's take a listen now to the AQX micro kit. So as you can see, I really enjoyed playing the micro kit. The smaller sizes mean the notes are far more staccato and you have to play in a very different way. I mean, I love playing those jungle and drum and bass beats, but also the hip hop feel. And because it's so small, you can shred around the kit and you don't really get that tired because everything's like 
right next to one another. So moving on now to the jungle kit, sizes that I'm a little bit more familiar with. So we have a 16 by 15 bass drum. The floor tom is actually exactly the same. So that's the 13 by 12. And we have a 10 by seven rack tom as well. And the kits are basically in that same sort of configuration. It's the same hardware. It's just the sizes are slightly different. And when you're thinking about, you know, what sizes to get, you really need to think about, you know, what your gig is and what you want to achieve. Obviously, you're going to get a lot more tone out of a 10 inch drum than you are out of an 18 inch drum. And also, you're going to get more sort of low end out of this kick drum. So all the kits actually come with the same snare drum. So we have a 13 by six, snare drum that comes with split lugs. It looks absolutely awesome. I really love the lugs on this one. And the hardware on this is actually of a really high quality. You know, a lot of kits in this price range, you wouldn't get a throw off anywhere near the quality of this one. It's got a really great like adjustable settings and it flicks on and off really easily. Um, like I say, for the money, it's absolutely awesome. So now we've had a run through of the jungle kit. Let's have a little bit of a closer listen. So as you can tell, when I was playing that kit, I was having so much fun. And the smaller sizes really don't make the kit any more playable at all. If anything, it makes it a little bit more fun. And if you are you know, a city guy or you're playing venues that are a little bit smaller, it doesn't get better than something like this. And you can play a full range of genres with this. It doesn't have to be like hip hop or drum and bass or, or jazz. You can play rock with this kit sufficiently. If you mic it up and you get it through some subs, the kick's going to sound absolutely massive. I think you can tell from my reaction of both kits that great things really have come in small packages for today's video. The Sonnet AQX range, despite its size, is a really powerful musical tool for, for creating and getting your point across on the drums. Please do let me know in the comments what you thought and which kit was your favorite and which kit you would maybe like to try as well. All these kits are now available at Gear for Music. Please don't forget to give us a like and subscribe, and I'll see you again soon. Bye.